For this video, we're going to continue looking at systems of equations, but start looking at word problems. So for example 1, we want to find the value of two numbers if their sum is 12 and their difference is 4. Alright, the first thing we need to do with word problems is define our variables. So I'm looking for two numbers. Well, I'm just going to call these numbers x and y. Okay, the next step is to write your equations. So I know that the sum of these two numbers is 12. Well, sum means addition, so I can say x plus y equals 12, and their difference is 4. Difference is subtraction, so I could say x minus y equals 4. Now I've got my system, and I can solve for those two variables. Right, I can use any method that I want graphing, elimination, or substitution. Just looking here right now, I see that my y's are going to cancel, so I'm going to go with elimination. I don't even have to do anything to my equations, I'm just going to add the top and the bottom. My y's go away, x plus x is 2x, 12 plus 4, 16. My y's are gone, so now I can solve for x by dividing by 2 and getting that x equals 8. Then I've got to come back up to one of my equations and plug in 8. So I'll just do the top one. So 8 plus y has to equal 12. Subtract 8 from both sides. y equals 4. So my two numbers are 8 and 4. And that's it. Example 2. The school that Stefan goes to is selling tickets to a choral performance. On the first day of ticket sales, the school sold three senior citizen tickets and one child ticket for a total of $38. The school took in $52 on the second day by selling three senior citizen tickets and two child tickets. Find the price of a senior citizen ticket and the price of a child ticket. So to start with, we're going to have to pick our variables. I've got uh, senior citizen and child. Senior citizen and child. So you do have the option of using X and Y again, or we could say S and C. Just make sure whatever you do, especially on these types of word problems, whatever you decide your variables to be, label them. We got senior citizen and child. All right, then it gives me two sets of information. I've got one day that ended up being $38 and one that was $52. So the equation to go with the 38 was three senior citizen and one child. So we can say 3s plus 1c has to equal that 38. Then the other one is a 52. So we could say three senior citizen plus two child equals 52. So three senior citizen plus two child equals $52. And now I can solve any way I want. Okay, we did the other one, elimination, so I'm going to do this one by substitution. I see that I've got a positive 1 for a coefficient right here, so that's the one I'm going to solve for. So I'm going to leave C by itself, so I'm going to subtract the 3S over. So I get C equals negative 3S plus 38. And I'm going to take that C equation and plug it into the C of the second equation. So I'm going to come on this side, and we've got 3S plus 2 times negative 3s plus 38 has to give us 52. Distribute my 2, so 3s minus 6s plus 38 and 38 gives us 76, has to equal 52. 3s and negative 6s are my like terms, so I get a negative 3s plus 76 equals 52. I want to get s by itself, so I'm going to subtract 76. So I get negative 3s equals negative 24. And then divide by negative 3. So negative 24 divided by negative 3 gives me a positive 8. So that means that the senior tickets were $8 each. Now I'm going to take this s and plug it back into my equation over here to find the child. So I get child equals negative 3 times 8 plus 38. Negative 3 times 8 is negative 24. Then negative 24 plus 38 is 14. So for a child ticket, it costs $14. And that's it. Find your variables and define them. Write your two equations, and then pick one of our three methods of solving to figure out your answer.